Alright guys, if you haven't figured out by that little short video clip what I'm doing today, I'm going to attempt to drop some water weight relatively quick. I had a giant massive cheat day um, this weekend and if you haven't seen my video on cheat days and cheat meals, please check it out right up here, just give it a click. Um, it's quite entertaining, um, even for me I think it's quite funny, yeah. Uh, but anyways, this video is on how to drop some water weight. So basically the thing is, whenever you have a large cheat day or cheat meal or, or you eat a lot of more, lot more carbs and you're used to, your body tends to hold on to more water weight. And usually this is in the form of glycogen, um, as well as just water retention due to excess sodium intake and excess carbohydrate intake. As you know, and as I've explained in previous videos, when you take more carbs in, you end up taking in more glycogen. Your body stores that carbohydrate as glycogen in your muscles and in your liver. Um, so what it does is, for every gram of glycogen, there's two grams of water. Or every glycogen molecule, there's two water molecules. There's something similar to that. Anyways, you get quite a bit of water holding on with you after... Uh, at least five to seven days after that, even once you've cleaned up the diet. So what my experiment today is going to do is what a lot of uh, weight class type coaches uh, recommend their their their, their uh, athletes to do, or even athletes do, and, and it's not necessarily a healthy thing. And I say that in quotes, healthy, because it's not healthy. It's simply dehydrating myself a bit to see how much water weight I can drop in about a you know 20 to 30 minute cardio session, wearing a plastic bag on my shirt. I'm not going into fashion or anything like that. I don't think I'm a fashion girl like Zoolander or anything. But if Zoolander could approve of a plastic bag shirt, he would approve of mine, I think. Anyways, um, so I'm going to attempt this. Like I said, a lot of uh, like wrestling coaches and fucking boxing coaches and people that are into these different sports do this and then attempt to lose weight quickly overnight or over the course of a few days in order to reach certain weight classes as you know in weightlift or sorry, weightlifting in um in wrestling and in boxing and different things like that the guys are split in different weight classes right so it's fair right it's not fair for a 150 pound dude to be fighting a 200 pound guy right so they get split up in the weight classes so a lot of times these guys will actually drop their weight to try to get into a lower weight class so they can be more competitive so that's basically where this comes from my dad actually years ago, you know, tried to do this with me when going for running and I'm not sure why he did it. He thought he was burning, burning more fat or whatever. But I'll just say this as a preface, do not attempt this unless you know what you're doing. Um, it's arguable whether or not I know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to see uh, how much water weight I can drop in, you know, about a 30 minute cardio session wearing up nothing but a plastic bag and a sweatshirt on top of that and, um, and seeing what it's like. So I'm going to go upstairs and get changed and uh, let's see how I look. Pills. Bags and putting them over people's heads, right? Only the pretty girls. Only the pretty girls get to wear paper bags on their heads. Or is it plastic bags? Uh, one of the two. That looks like Thor or some sort of fucking crazy rock and roll character, eh? Ooh, I already feel the like heat fills it up in there. I'll put that on like that. Get the sweat going, I got a nice seal going on the sides here. And then, I'm gonna put a big heavy, it's middle of summer by the way, my house is air conditioned, so I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but I'm gonna throw on a hoodie on top of this thing. Pretty tight hoodie. I'm gonna hold the hold the bag right against my skin pretty tight. Oh, 
It already feels like I can't breathe, man. I can already feel that heat. I can already feel that heat building up. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna hit up the cardio, and uh, let's see uh, how this goes. All right, guys, check it out. I'm uh, down in the basement. I've been wearing this for a few minutes now. It's starting to get a little hot. I haven't done anything yet, so keep note. I'm gonna jump on the uh, on the recumbent bike today because I already did uh, treadmill this morning. So I'm gonna do the bike 20 to 30 minutes, and let's see how I do. I usually lose about a pound. I weigh myself most days. I usually lose about a pound just doing this without anything on. So let's see what happens. All right guys, it's 20 minutes of cardio. I'm gonna go upstairs, take some pictures, and weigh myself in. Stay tuned for the results. All right guys, so I just finished up the plastic bag prints challenge. And uh, so what I did was I did my normal 20 minutes on the recumbent bike. The only difference is I wrap my upper body in a plastic garbage bag. Um, results, I felt a little hotter during, as expected. Uh, I sweat more, I sweated a little bit more than normal. Um, inevitably, my weight only dropped about a pound, maybe a little over a pound, uh, but that is normally what I normally drop. So I suspect in order to get the real benefit of it, you need to do at least a half hour to an hour worth of cardio and really let your body te core temperature increase and do it longer and longer and longer. But for my 20 minute test, it wasn't that, uh, I wasn't that amazed at the amount of water weight that I lost. I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't, I, know, I, didn't, I wasn't sure what to expect, let's put it that way. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna lose five pounds or, or whatever, I didn't think I was gonna lose any more, I didn't think I was gonna lose any more than five pounds, but um, anyways, my recommendation is, uh, you know, if you really need to drop some weight, I mean, for something like an event or something, it might help a little bit with subcutaneous water retention. But keep in mind, guys, this is not fat loss. It's just making you sweat. It's just holding, it's keeping, you're preventing your skin from breathing, basically. And it's probably not the best thing to do. Um, I feel fine. It's not like I'm dehydrated or anything, but I didn't do it for very long. And also, I did it in a very cool air-conditioned basement. So my recommendation for you guys is, like, skip the plastic bag unless you really want to get the weight down, even just for a psychological thing maybe once in a while I wouldn't do it often I definitely wouldn't like make sure I wouldn't definitely wouldn't do it as part of like your normal routine that's just kind of stupid like fucked hearted we're basically running around with a play plastic bag on your back but I mean I mean like there's no magic here it doesn't make you burn fat any quicker burning fat comes down to a caloric deficit uh, increasing your deficit throughout the day but through diet and doing exercise right so weight training and cardio increase your metabolism by building muscle mass has nothing to do with sweating more the more you sweat it just means you're sweating more and most likely you just gave the water back so that was my fun little uh, thing let me know what you think comment in the description box below what you think have you tried this before have you noticed any visual results I'll post up my before and after photos you can't really tell that much of a difference um, and like and subscribe to the video. Thanks guys, keep killing it.